All right. So, something came up today that I think is relatively easy to wrap up. Um, and I think it bears discussion. I think it's important to the whole preparedness, survival, boog stuff I talk about. Um, and generally speaking, it was it was like the result of somebody who's been interested in my take on things for a bit. Um, I'm not going to like say who that is. I don't want him to get like harassed. He seems like he had good intentions in bringing this video to my attention. So I don't want him to like get harassed, but I, I got like this tweet from somebody named Commandant Shinji, uh, Shinji the Cuban. Anarchism would be a lot cooler if it was actually just about being able to do whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. And I said, you already do. If you're anarchist, that's your choice. You choose to be that unfree in your own mind, and it influences your choice to do what the state says. By supporting archonic structures over you, you've already chosen not to do what you want. This can change. Um, and the person that I'm talking about says, we shouldn't be free in our own minds. We should be quite dictatorial over our base of desires. And my response was, freedom is about self-control. It's about not letting other people have a higher claim to controlling yourself than yourself has. Being free in your own mind means being the sole controller of it, and not allowing somebody's outside control of it, not losing control yourself. And he says, I believe you when you say it, but I doubt the person you QT'd would have made such a good statement, but rather thinks freedom's value is the ability to gratify the flesh. Uh, and I, so I responded, this is why he and the vast majority of people will likely never be free, because giving into that sort of thing allows for one to be trapped by the nature of vice, and it does not serve oneself, much less any higher purpose of liberation has much to learn and little time. I was referring to the original poster. He said, Can I get your opinion on a video a friend showed me about gender when you get the time? My response was, because at the time I thought it might be like, you know, a, a fucking one or two hour lecture or whatever. Um, he's So he sent uh, the, the thing after this, but I said, I mean, you can send what you want. Gonna focus on a part of a script for a documentary I'm involved in today, though. Also... I QT'd these because uh, I thought you'd appreciate them. Uh, and it was two tweets that I had already sent before that basically say the same thing. If you oppose religion on the grounds that it's the opium of the people but are not against opium being consumed, it's not the W you think it is. Anarchy is when do drugs and act irresponsible. Nah, not really. And your addictions will keep you in many types of chains. And I said it uh, on May 1st, but I had also said it on April 2nd. It's fun how, to some people, religion can be considered the opium of the people, so it's bad. But drug use and unhealthy sexual and personal habits are considered okay. Maybe you're not a radical. Maybe you just don't like responsibility or accountability. Opium is also opium. Uh, and he said, and I didn't like this yet, I should have. Damn, that's such a great point. Um... But I got back to the thread, and he had linked the video. The video is from Academic Agent, who I think I've actually spoken to before um, in streams with some people that no longer get along with me, one of whom calls me an anti-Semite because I go against, you know, uh, the, the banksters and uh, all lobbying, including lobbying for Israel. Um, there's a variety of things in that regard, but I won't get into that this video. Um... But the general gist of it is that uh, this video is called Zoomers are Coomers. You can already tell where this is going because the title is retarded. It's not good. It's very bad. And um, in this particular case, uh, what he's referring to uh, is a, a woman who posted her abs that made him mad. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating, not remotely. So, the woman who posted her abs, she posted them on September 10th. And, and it was something like, you know, forget politics, have some abs, or something like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna look through the fucking video. 
But the general vibe of the video was spending the first half of it complaining about the fact that the people in the comments are just jizz-soaked coomer zoomers. Well, um, let's be super clear here and say that uh, the people in the comments, if you actually look at the comments, are mostly millennials. I would say about 60 to 70 percent of the people in the comments that I saw were millennials. And yeah, there were some Gen Zers there, but the vast majority of the people there were adults were over 18 and that's why they were uh, you know interacting with an account like that to begin with um, and ultimately uh, the picture was safe for work it was just abs and it was totally fine um, a woman showing off the, pro or the progress she made getting fit I encourage this um, I think people should have strength. Shocking, I know. It's real fucking shocking. Um, but this guy uh, went through the comments, found a few people with some images that he could use to shock people. Um, very not academic, by the way, academic agent. Your poisoning the well uh, doesn't work. Uh, especially since most people weren't tweeting out images like that. Uh, but let's be super clear here and say um, there's nothing wrong with a strong woman. And let me be super, super obvious with this. If you think there is, it's because you're not a strong man. Um, women need to be able to provide for their house just as well as men in case there's ever not a man in the picture anymore. Especially if you're right, which he goes on to, on to say, that society is collapsing because of images like this. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, especially if you think society is collapsing. Because if society is collapsing, your current social structure of marriage being the ideal circumstance between a man and a woman, according to traditionalists, like academic agent, um, the man might be killed defending your house. And if you're too weak to support him in defending the house, if you're too weak to fight back in any context, your house is fucked. We cannot survive the coming storm if the common person, no matter their gender, no matter their sex, isn't fit for it. Survival of the fittest applies to everyone regardless of their karyotype. Like, are you fucking stupid? Yes, he is. But that's something for another subject. The general uh, vibe that you should get from this video is uh, because the kids are like this, even though he didn't bother to check whether or not the people involved were kids, um, we're all going to die because civilization is fucked, because it can't continue if, 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 if pe people like abs. I'm not making this so... Okay, so he then go, goes on in order to bolster his point to quote a fascist. Like, he quotes Julius Evola. Now, I already know about this guy, right? Um, but I'm going to read you some stuff from the wiki. And, uh, and you can get some impressions yourself. Since he wants to go about the well-poisoning route of these people are just coomer zoomers, um, I'm going to go with the... I'm going to describe his source before I read what the source says to show him how this looks. Julio Cesare Andrea Evola, better known as Julius Evola, was an Italian philosopher, poet, and painter whose esoteric worldview featured anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and the occult. 
He has been described as a fascist intellectual, a radical traditionalist, anti-egalitarian, anti-liberal, anti-democratic, and anti-popular, and as the leading philosopher of Europe's neo-fascist movement. If that doesn't sound like the least unbiased source for an academic video, your ears are working. Good. Good for you. Or maybe if you're reading the subtitles of this, your eyes are working. Either way, no matter what form you're, you're consuming this media from, uh, your senses are on, on, on point. Because having this guy... He believed in ghosts, telepathy, and alchemy. And his whole thing was about how Christians are bad. Somehow, I don't think this is the guy who's defending the West in the way you think he is. Maybe, maybe you should have thought this through a little more. But you didn't because he's confirming your worldview. He admired uh, Schutzstoffel head Reichsführer Heinrich Himmler, whom he once met. <laughs> you know, autobiographical remarks by Evola allude to his having worked for the uh, <laughs> SD, the intelligence agency of the SS and the Nazi party. During his trial in 1951, Evola denied being a fascist and instead referred to himself as super fascista, literally super fascist. Concerning this statement, historian Elisabetta Cassina Wolf wrote that it is unclear whether this meant that Evola was placing himself above or beyond fascism. <laughs> he thought he was better than fascists. He thought he was so, so above and beyond what fascism was. He was basically like the new neo Nazi template. And that's why his thinking did so well with new fascist people, with neo-fascists, because he's a fascist. He's just a really, really strong and incredibly biased fascist. So this is who Academic Agent thought, let's quote this guy first. And he quotes this guy in reading from a book he wrote, uh, called, uh, and, and I'm like, I'm reading this from Google, right? Because the only quote he used is something that you could read from Google. You don't even need to read the book in order to read this quote from the book. But it confirms what he's saying, so he doesn't need to prove that he's actually read the book or that he agrees with what the book says or the context of the book. But what it is is revolt against the modern world. Politics, religion, and social or order in the Kali Yuga. If that doesn't describe to you why this guy might not have thought this through, I, I don't know much what to tell you, but basically, he reads this thing that says that if men aren't the warriors, and that if women aren't the, like, obedient serfs of the warrior class, society will collapse. That everything that woman does should be filtered through the lens of the man, or a patriarchal structure. This isn't academics. This is populist, like, woman bashing. It's, it's not academic to simply quote somebody and then claim that that's all you need. In order to properly analyze what's being said here, the entire book would need to be gone through, not just like a couple paragraphs like he does. And it's funny because he includes this one static image of one paragraph of it and then continues reading from more of it. He couldn't even be arsed to make another image for his fucking video because he's lazy. Um... And so he, 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 he does like a couple paragraphs of this. And then, you know, after, after this, he, he, he ignores the next part, which is also visible on fucking Google Books, where 
the the guy starts to fetishize the Arya in India. Um, the the Hellas, uh, which no, I'm not making that up. Uh, the Aztecs. Somehow, I don't think this guy, academic agent, wants that tradition. Somehow, I don't think he wants Britain to look more like Aztec Mexico. Or more like India. Somehow, I don't think he thought this through, because what really mattered to him wasn't the fact that he was quoting a fascist. It wasn't the fact that he was, you know, supporting... Uh, the the fucking cultures that he would probably call backward because also keep in mind that a lot of these cultures had warrior women um it was just the fact that this guy agreed with him and that's one of the flaws of traditionalism is that when you say you're traditional what the fuck does that mean it doesn't mean anything it's a meaningless phrase it's a meaningless phrase anyone can use, even if they're not according to your traditions. You know? Like, like sexually promiscuous women on Twitter saying they're trad, right? Or people in, in, in like, uh, trad spaces uh, not <laughs> trying to be fit not trying to be a good example of a warrior man. Um, and, and then, you know, wondering why more of these women aren't with them. Like this guy named Boko Harambe on Twitter being like, this is what they took from you. And he's taking a, like a video somebody else took because of course he didn't make his own content. Um, of a couple Mennonite women who don't know pop culture. And then his comments are full of people saying the same thing, like, you didn't try to get that. Those Mennonite women would not be with you because of what you post on Twitter. You're not trying for that. You're not living that trad life you want, so you're not getting that trad wife you want. It's, it's real funny how many of these people aren't willing to do what they preach. And that brings me in to the next point which is that he continues to quote far-right people in the form of Jonathan Bowden, who's also a far-right person. Um, and he makes the mistake of playing a video, which I fucking laugh so hard at, because the guy is not in shape. The guy is not in shape. And this is the guy that he's saying is a good example of the warrior man aesthetic. He's got a chin that goes hoob, right? I'd have to, I'd have to fucking wear a, a Mike Myers prosthetic to get a chin like that. And he's wearing this suit that's so, uh, like suit and pants that so obviously pull up over a stomach so that he can hide the fact that he's got Dunlap he doesn't have abs. You know? He doesn't have abs. So at least Julius Evola looked like he took reasonable care of his physical body in the, like, photograph that Wikipedia encourage, encourages you to look at. Like, at least he looks like he, he was in shape. At least he looks like he would be in place in a military. Bowden? Bowden? What? And he includes this video at the exact wrong angle. Like, I can freeze it at a variety of points and you see this bulging hook of the chin coming off him. And this is the guy that academic agent thought, hey, this guy knows why we shouldn't like women with abs. This guy with no abs. <laughs> and, and, and you want to know the real kicker? He's talking about this liberalism and how it's all bad and bad, bad, bad. Um, but the liberalism that he claims is bad allowed him to live such an unhealthy lifestyle, being the overweight person he was, that he died of heart failure at 49 years old. After he was released from the psychiatric ward of a hospital where he was admitted after suffering a mental breakdown. 
Role Model. Woo! Ah, it's so fucking pathetic. It's pathetic when people like this try to act like academics. They're not academics. And what's more, the artist that, that, that posted the picture in question, I don't even think he's a Zoomer. The picture that he's using as his thumbnail, the picture that he claims is a character in a blowjob-like position. I don't know about you, I don't think I've ever seen a blowjob where it's aimed at the stomach. You can tell me differently if you fucking want to. But it's fucking hilarious to me. It's hilarious how many of these people who like far-right thinkers and talk about how men should be men and warriors and etc. And women should know their place and etc. Just aren't the warrior class. Just wouldn't get picked up for any army. I want academic agent to post physique. I think that'd be funny, because he sounds fat, too. Like, I just can't stand it. If you want to complain that a woman has abs, and that men should have abs, don't include men without abs in your rebuttal. If you want to include, you know, things to defend Western ideas, maybe don't include a fascist who fetishized non-Western ideas. Huh? Can we do that? Oh, no, we can't do that because you're dunking on the libs. You're dunking on the left. It doesn't matter whether or not you're right. You know? Facts don't matter. Even though they don't care about feelings, they don't care about, I guess, your point. <laughs> so my, my, my general rant on Twitter went like this. Impressions. One, I want my future spouse to be that strong. I want to be that strong too. Let me elaborate on these points. I want us to be able to spar. Because I want us to be able to strengthen each other so much that we can kill anyone who threatens our family. That's the warrior aesthetic. That's the warrior aesthetic you should want. But you don't. Because you want a bitch. Two, this is why the terrorists hate us is a thing he said. And it's laughable. The terrorists don't hate us because a woman has abs. They hate us because the Western powers have constantly been bombing their countries and killing their civilians. Interfering in their socially regressive culture, which Julius would probably appreciate. Three, I don't mind if they're feminine as long as they're capable. If my chick that I get someday has, like, you know, pink everything, but she's still, like, strong and capable of holding her own in an argument and, like, you know, okay with me not being pink everything, then I'll swallow my fucking hatred of that color and, you know, love her because she's awesome. Because she's doing what everybody should and strengthening herself and trying to be the best protector of the household in case I fucking die. She'll still be able to protect the kids. I want Jane motherfucking Connor. That's not tomboy. That's mama bear. That's tradition. Back when they were like, you know, gatherers. Having to deal with shit having to live with austerity because, like, <laughs> the nature is cruel and it doesn't let you get really fat. That's tradition, but he doesn't like that tradition. Four, not everything he doesn't like is cope. He lists four things in the beginning of his video and he just dismisses them as cope rather than, like, engaging with them rather than saying why they're wrong he lists them as copes um what's wrong with abs do you want girls to be fat is a reasonable fucking question you're just a boomer who doesn't get the, the tomboy ads fet abs fetish subculture bro 
I'm reasonably sure nobody would say that to him. Like, he poisons the well right off. If you're against this, it is obviously some insecurity on your part. It fucking is. I guarantee it. That's not cope. That's reasonable psychological bullshit. If he gets to accuse everyone in the, the threat of being a Zoomer and a Coomer, they get to respond by saying he's insecure about her abs. Again, post-physique. Prove me wrong, huh? Um, and stop getting triggered and acting like a prude bro. They're just being ironic and exaggerating, trying to wind you up. Since when does don't feed the trolls act as a cope? So, ultimately, uh, he's full of shit. And he starts off by proving he's full of shit, but so many people still watch the video. This guy has, like, close to 50,000 subscribers. That shows you that, like, it doesn't take good content to get people on board. Five. There have been female warriors in many successful societies. There fucking have. Okay? Like, so many examples I could list, like Amazons, like, why don't we talk about Egypt, where there were also warriors? Why don't we talk about literally anything other than his idealized version of what white people country should look like? Oh, right, because that would be, like, research-intensive and academic, and academic agent doesn't like that. Uh, six, citing someone who has a framework of similar mind doesn't make someone right, and one should be free to disagree with both of them. Which I am, and did. I disagree with the far-right fucking, like, overweight guy who died at 49, and his interpretation of what a proper man should be. I disagree with the, like, fascist who fetishizes cultures that, you know, weren't too good to people. Uh, caste systems are bad. Human sacrifice is bad. Cultural relativism and the idea that because another culture did it, it's somehow not criticizable is the antithesis of academics. Um, we should be able to look at these things objectively and say, hey, maybe maybe Evola got it wrong. Hmm? That's academics, not just critiquelessly posting a thing and hoping people don't notice who he is, what he said, or, or anything else? <laughs> Seven. This guy's body is far too non-muscular to be put alongside complaints of men not like enough to warriors, is what I said about Bowdoin. Eight. Law is downstream from culture. Lamau. He says culture is downstream from law, that people just sort of conform to society. No. They wag the dog. The major cultural shifts are done by the tireless minority who are willing to be out there enough that they can shift the cultural lens. That's who gets culture moved. The people making art, the people making scientific innovations, the people willing to do things underground and in secret to avoid being called witches by regressives like him. The people willing to meet in secret in coffee houses, even while those are being threatened to be shut down, so that they can stimulate their brains instead of have the whole fucking, like, <laughs> drunken circle jerk that led to a significant amount of problems in society, not to mention the anti-enlightenment periods of history. The ones he probably wants to go back to. Academics. Fucking bullshit. And so then I go into a screed here saying, being against libertarianism is not a personality because he, he makes some great effort to go against libertarians in his video, not actually proving his point, but just sort of yelling at libertarians. And this guy has made the mistake of thinking that his single view of morality is the only way with which it could be interpreted, ignoring the fact that ethics is a multifaceted interpretation of morality and he could be wrong. The idea that it's liberalism which creates warrior women ignores the vast array of traditional societies with much less liberal cultures who add warrior women. 
This is a BS-centric way of thinking and very non-academic. It's pretty laughable this guy takes this approach. Both men and women should be as strong as possible to defend their spawn from outside threats like states and the fact that some people want that for aesthetic purposes or so they don't feel that they have to perform as well does not mean that that's who she will mate with. Like, can I see the response to this as a signal of the declining civilization? Absolutely. But can I, I can also see his response to this as a signal that civilization will not be saved by his sort. He's not doing what he wants other people to, and it's very obvious that it's a cope indeed. His entire fucking video is a cope. 100% of it. Oh, and one more thing. This guy calls himself academic agent... And academics itself is a result of liberalism in the same sense that he claims. The regressives of society have challenged people learning all manner of academics for as long as there's been history, many such cases. So, for him to claim that not being completely warrior-like is a failure on a man's part, or opposite for women, <laughs> while engaging in activities which were designed to offset the need for warriors, is hilarious. All this video makes me want to do is say post physique, he sounds fat. He sounds fat. I wouldn't be surprised if he is. Because his entire point here is that only one group of people should be physically fit. This is generally not a point made by people who know how hard it is to get into the shape that that woman was. He's acting like it's something that you can just be because you're a man. Yet he included a man who did not be that and died before 50 because of that. <laughs> it's funny. I'm laughing. The one who gave me the thing says, I largely agree. I feel like he's missing the point and is just trying to rationalize something far simpler, which is people should do what is right when it's right. And foolishly saying that this means women should always be a certain way. And by rationalize, I mean talk in circles around the point to avoid stating the obvious because it's damning to his stated point. As you said, it is good when Mama Bear can defend her children, for example. It's like super obvious to anyone who looks into these kinds of things that the people behind him ain't the fucking sharpest tools in the shed and ain't the fucking best fit for a warrior society. Yet they want to dictate to you to be a warrior. Today I worked out for 40 minutes doing hit. It was all abs. Just to spite this person. And I hope all the women out there and all the men do the same. We all need to be as strong as possible because the state has such great force multipliers that if you don't have the strength to even disarm somebody or, you know, defend your own home... You're going to lose everything in the coming struggle. The kinds of people this guy cites are the kinds of people who would spit on him in public. And it's hilarious that people just go along with that. The vast majority of people who watched his video liked it. Even though it's arrogant, unacademic trash on a channel that should change its name. I just can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't, like, grasp the kinds of, of mental gymnastics and the dumbing down, the sheer amount of, of blood that must be swelling in the skull cavity of somebody who thinks these are rational things that they should say or think or who supports people like this but it's funny and also sad because society is going downhill and we need all hands on fucking deck it's almost like these are divide and conquer tactics almost like problem reaction solution almost like ordo ab keo novus ordo seclorum 
almost like he's contributing to the same sorts of things by virtue of making content like this that are creating the kinds of people that he claims to hate so that he can keep having people to make content about. Because making solutions and actually having things that would work, that's hard. Yelling at women with abs is easy. It's clickbaity. He can use other people's art in his thumbnail. It's pretty pathetic. Not at all becoming a warrior. If you want to become a warrior, eat a shitload of protein. Work out. Go for long walks or runs. Lift heavy things a lot. Do high-intensity interval training so you get the wiriest, snappy little muscles that you can beat the living fuck out of people who come to hurt you. That's how you become a warrior. By becoming strong. Not by letting people tell you how weak you should be, no matter who you are. A true warrior can rise above any sort of criticism like this, and that's what we should do because we have a behemoth of a state to smash. So don't let anybody disempower you. Don't let anybody keep you down. Because ultimately, you're the last line of defense in your own life. And nobody can do it for you. And ultimately, there might be a situation in your life that proves that to you. So, your muscles should be considered like a weapon. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Make your body dangerous. Make your mind dangerous. No matter who you are. Live up to the warrior ethos. Be a warrior in a garden rather than a gardener in a war. Sharpen your tools. You might need them someday. And don't let people like this try to use weak people as examples of why you should be strong. Be strong for yourself and never, ever let yourself be controlled because the most important thing you need to do is smash this.